Hello, my name is Dan Redding. I'm the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. I want to share this with you in order to provide information related to the search for the next principal for Washington Liberty High School. That principal will begin work this summer. I want to take a moment to honor Dr. Greg Robertson for his years of service and his commitment to students. He's provided 21 years of leadership to Arlington Public Schools and students and families in his roles as assistant principal at Swanson Middle School, principal at Swanson, and now principal at Washington Liberty. We thank him for his dedication and wish him the very best in the next chapter. First, let's talk about the timeline for this search. This position will be advertised for a little more than two weeks and will close on Friday, April 24th. We always advertise on our website and in associations and publications that are catering towards those in education leadership, most specifically the National Association of Secondary School Principals. The principal search process is a three round process. The first round of interviews screens applicants for their certifications and experience and attempts to find the best matches and find the highest quality candidates. This screening committee is composed of members of the executive leadership team. The second round committee is a cross-sectional panel made up of stakeholders, school staff, students, parents, some central office staff, and a high school principal representative. The final round is the superintendent's round in which she considers feedback from the first two rounds of interviews and conducts her own interviews as she decides who she wants to recommend as her recommendation for the next principal to the school board. Let's look a little more closely at that second round panel. This panel will be made up of four staff at Washington Liberty, four parents, two students, a high school principal rep, and a few representatives from the Department of Teaching and Learning. And after we talk a little more about timeline, I'll talk about how each group's composition will be determined. So in the timeline, you can see that we're going to run the first two rounds of this search during the week of April 27th. Round three, the superintendent's round, will take place the week of May 4th. Our goal is to have a recommendation to the school board for appointment early in May of 2020. We're considering internal and external applicants, and we'd like to be sure that we can, if we move forward with an internal applicant, fill the vacancy that that will create and any subsequent vacancies in a timely manner. We also want to be sure that if we fill with an external applicant, they can resign their current position in accordance with their school division's policies around the timing of resignations. Let's look at the panels. As I shared, we'll have four staff members on the round two panel. We conduct outreach to staff through a survey to get their input. And as part of that survey, there will be a question asking if the respondent would like to be on the interview committee. If they do, then their name is placed into the list and a second survey is sent with all of those who indicated interest and the staff at Washington Liberty will be able to use ranked choice or instant runoff voting to determine who will be the four panelists. We do seek to represent the diversity of the Washington Liberty staff, and it is important to us to have teachers and support staff recommend or as part of that panel providing feedback to the superintendent. The four parent representatives on the interview committee will be determined through working with the PTA executive board. These panelists should also represent the diversity of the families at Washington Liberty 
and the different constituencies within that group, such as athletic boosters, band and arts boosters, and international baccalaureate families. We want to be sure to represent all the perspectives as we obtain feedback about the candidates. Human Resources will work with the student government sponsors to identify student leaders who are part of student government to represent their school and the student body on this interview panel. Members of the student government have already been chosen by their peers as leaders and we'll use two of them to get student voice as part of this selection process. These students should also represent the diversity of the Washington Liberty student body. Below this presentation are two survey links, one for students, one for families. The staff survey will be sent directly to your Arlington email account. The survey will close on Sunday, April 19th at 10 p.m. Please be sure to get your feedback to us. We will conduct this interview process virtually, and that is to comply with social distancing expectations, as well as protect the health and safety of our interview panel and our candidates. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions. My email address is on the screen, dan.redding at apsva.us. And we'll keep you up to date on the Engage page of the APS website as we move through this process. Thank you for watching. I hope that this information was helpful for you. And I look forward to working with you as we look for the next principal at Washington Liberty.